everyone, my name is Marcus and you're watching the Reef Nerd YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about all the things that I feed to my tank. So I've done various videos before as specific product reviews of various things to do with feeding coral or nutrition around fish food and the like. However, today I thought I'd cover off all the products that I actually use on a daily basis and show you exactly how I feed my tank. That's the fish and the coral. To begin with, every morning, I come down to the tank and I put in a single pinch of flake food. This is essentially breakfast for the fish and at the moment I'm using two different flake foods and I alternate them day by day. I'm using the Nutri-Diet Marine and Marine Plus flake. Then throughout the full day, the auto feeder on the top of my tank will spin three times. That auto feeder has a mixture of different pellet foods in it. At the moment, it's full of two different pellet foods. It has the Tropical Softline Marine and it has the Aquaforest Anthea Pro Feed S. The thing that both of these flakes have in common is that they're fairly soft flakes. They're not dry, hard granules. They're, they're moist and gummy. Uh, I think this is better. They seem to uh, sink slowly and stay in the water column as opposed to floating on the surface and going down the overflow or sinking really rapidly and just ending up as snail food. Supposedly, the softer flakes that are a bit more moist are also better for fish digestion. I also have the Vitalis LPS coral pellets. I feed these through an acrylic tube like this, target feeding my LPS top corals. That's things like acans and scollies and the big deshi I have in the corner here. I would say that I feed the LPS pellets on average maybe once a week. Um, I don't think you need to feed LPS any more frequently than that, particularly in a tank that is otherwise already fairly heavily fed. Moving along, everything else on here is either powdered coral food or liquid coral supplements. And I have three different ranges of coral supplement. I have the Aquaforest range, that's AF Energy, AF Build, Amino Mix, and AF Vitality. I have the Reef Anabolics range, that's Amino Aloe Plus, Amino Aloe Pro, and Vitaglow Pro. And I have Coral Essentials Black Label, that's Energy Plus, Chroma Plus, and Vibrance Plus. I don't use all of these every day. I alternate them day by day. So day one would be Coral Essentials, day two would be Reef Anabolics, day three would be Aquaforest. And I dose these mixed in with the frozen food that I feed to my tank every evening. Again, I have three different options here that I alternate. I have the Sari Aquatic Nutrition Prawn Meat, Pure Row, and Whitefish. I normally feed one or two cubes, again, alternating day by day, or just reading the tank depending on if nitrates and phosphates might be creeping a bit, I'll feed one cube for a while, or if they're getting low, I'll feed two cubes for a while. The final thing that I have here, and I try to put on the tank every day, is some nori. And this is just the Obento brand nori that I've cut up into slices, and I put that on a magnetic clip just once a day for the tangs to have some fresh seaweed to munch on. So now that I have all this out and I've run through all of these products, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna feed the tank today. So today I'm gonna to be using two of these cubes and for my rotation, I think that means today is gonna to be one cube of the whitefish. Get one out, put it in my little cup of tank water here. And one cube of the pure row. Pure row is really good because it uh, is really small particles. It's essentially thousands of little fish eggs. So I, I believe it's really good as coral food as well as fish food. It gives the fish um, plenty of action because it takes them quite a while to hunt down all the little uh, fish eggs floating around the tank. And it definitely gets all the corals going as well. So while those are defrosting in tank water, I'm gonna add to them some of my dry coral foods. And I have three selections here. So I've got the Reefroids by Polyp Lab, I've got the Reef Revolution Polyp Feast Coral Food, and I've got the Aquaforest Rico F and AF Power Food. Again, I don't feed all of these every day, but I alternate them. So I think today we're up to using Reefroids, and I'm gonna add, uh, I'll randomly select, let's do the Aquaforest Power Food as well. So using this little scoop, 
I do three scoops. That's one scoop per 100 liters of each product that I use on a given day. And refroids. There we go. So that's the powdered food mixed in with the defrosting frozen cubes. Next up is to choose which of the brands of coral supplement I'm going to use today. Now, yesterday I did reef anabolics. So that means today is either going to be Coral Essentials Black Label or Aquaforest AF Energy Build Amino and Vitality. And I think what we're up to is Aquaforest today. So now all of these products, whether you're doing Coral Essentials, Reef Anabolics or Aquaforest, are dosed uh, one drop per 100 liters. So for me, that's really easy. It's three drops. Of each bottle. All right, while I'm waiting for that to mix and fully defrost, I'm just going to put these back in the freezer and the coral essentials and reef anabolic stuff back in the fridge. These are products that you do need to keep refrigerated and frozen, so definitely don't want to leave them out too long. It's not good to let them defrost unless you're going to be feeding them straight away. I have this handy caddy that I use for storing all of these bottles in my fridge, which makes it really easy. Now I might give this a helping hand with a teaspoon here to just break up the cubes. Uh, I find because I have very gutsy fish that if I don't break up these cubes properly, one fish tends to peg the whole thing and the other fish miss out. So gotta make sure it's fair for everyone and I like to just make sure it's all broken up. Now as you can see my tangs are hanging around and they definitely know that it's uh, that it's feeding time. They've been watching me film this video, they've been watching me play with all this food so they know what's coming. I'm just going to move the camera so you guys get a better view and we're going to feed this mixture which is now all mixed together um, of the various coral foods, fish foods and products that I put in here and we're going to pour that into the tank. Now I just broadcast this straight into the tank. Um, I've got way too much coral here to be trying to target feed anything other than the LPS pellets through that tube that I mentioned before. but. Um, there's enough food in here that it's going to disperse across the entire tank. The fish are going to go nuts and all the corals uh, are going to be bathing in this uh, soup of fish and coral nutrition. One thing to note, I'm clearly feeding very heavily and I do this most days with all these products that you've just seen. The reason why I can do this is because I have so much coral in the tank that has, um, that's growing really rapidly and sucks a lot of the nutrient out of the tank. And I have excellent filtration down below. I've got a good skimmer. I run an algae turf scrubber, which grows like crazy. And that's on 16 hours a day. So my nutrient export is really high. I wouldn't recommend feeding this much unless you have the ability to export the same amount out of the tank. Otherwise you're gonna have a massive nitrate and phosphate problem in a tank full of algae. So this is definitely not the kind of feeding pattern I would recommend for a new tank. This is for a mature tank with lots of coral and good filtration.
I hope that gave you some insight as to how I feed my tank. Um, I'm not necessarily recommending that everyone go out and buy as much fish, food and coral uh, products as I have. The reason why I've got so many obviously is because I do videos on them and I've reviewed most of these products before so I do have a fairly large collection and you know because I have them I use them all uh, and I, I take the approach of alternating between the brands day by day. Uh, you should pick a brand that works for you. Go and check out some of my reviews specifically on some of the products that I've featured here today um, and find the ones that you think will work best for your tank. Or you can be like me, collect them all and just alternate them and see what kind of results you can get out of uh, all these various products for different purposes. Just remember, keep an eye on your nitrate and phosphate levels. Make sure you've got adequate filtration. I'm a believer in the philosophy of heavy in, heavy out. So feed the tank heavily, but make sure that you have the ability to export all that nutrient back out of the tank so it doesn't collect and form an algae bomb. Also, don't forget that if you're in Australia, you should come to Melbourne for the Underwater Pet Expo. It's on February 29th and March 1st. It's gonna be Australia's largest freshwater and marine expo. Entry is just $5 and kids get in for free. So come, support the hobby. I'll be there. A bunch of other YouTubers are going to be there. We're going to have heaps of special guests from the marine and freshwater aquarium hobby. It's going to be great. You can buy the tickets via Facebook. I'll put a link in the description below. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what things you feed to your tank and how much you're feeding. My name is Marcus. You've been watching the Reef Nerd YouTube channel. Bye for now.